This is Towers of Various. Um, it was a tower defense game that my group and I had designed for our school's junior project where we were to take everything that we had learned up until the point of the class and develop a single project to encompass all the different concepts that we had learned and even branch out into other concepts that we hadn't learned. Towers of Reus is more than just a game too, actually. Um, it possesses a, a genetic algorithm or a GA component where the program will actually learn several things about a given level. The game also has a map editor where users can create their own maps and either play them or let the computer try and beat them. So let me get started on taking you through the game. Um, I'll show you the single player part first, what it entails, and then I will go into the GA part of it and demonstrate how it can be used to um, as a developer tool to help balance games. So the first thing we want to do is select a level, and then I can load into the game. And right now you'll see that it's um, loading all the different entities and all the different uh, you know components of the game. Um, while this is going on, um, I'll explain that the quality, okay, it's already up, um, the quality is going to be dumbed down a little bit from what you'll see if you download the source and compile it yourself or look at the installer. Um, so that's, everything kind of looks a little, little blurry, but that's just, you know, the nature of wanting to get this recorded. So this is our dynamic map. Um, you can see that we have this teleporter right here this is where all the enemies come out of and this is the base of where they're trying to get to um, for those of you that know what how for those of you that know what is involved with tower defense you know that your your goal is to try to set up towers in order to stop the enemies from getting all the way to your base you have base health and um, you know a certain amount of money that you can spend um, to place towers every time you kill an enemy you get money to then spend on more towers um, so we have our nice little environment here and our little playing area so I'll go ahead and start actually let me go back to the main menu real quick and turn on the sounds uh, it's a little loud that's our music I'll turn that down I don't let you hear the sounds first and then I'll probably turn them back off just to kind of let you have the full experience so I'll go ahead and place out a few towers alright so I'm going to go ahead and hit my begin button and you will see our mobs are coming out so now you can hear what our guns and stuff sound like. I'll probably go ahead and turn that off. I'll let you hear me better. Alright. So you can see all the different mobs that we have in our different gun towers. I'll go ahead and just kind of play around for a little bit and let you see. Then I'll explain what's going on. We have four different mob types. Um, we have these hovercrafts, which are these orange looking ones. So we have the helicopters, which follow the same path. And we have our Humvees. Um, the ones that you haven't seen yet, there it is. This is one of our tanks. These are our big damage tanking, you know, the ones that have the most damage, the ones that are harder to kill. Um, so we have our different towers. There's uh, several different tower types that I'll go over while this is fighting. I'll probably end up losing, but um, we have these gun towers right here, which are your basic cheap towers. Um, you have these artilleries, which are sort of the mid-grade tower. Um, they have long-distance shots, and they can kind of uh, they do quite a bit of damage. And then you have our laser towers that you see right here. Um, other towers we have our electric towers, our lightning towers. Um, these will zap the enemies with the bolts of lightning that kinda that kinda does a lot of damage. And before I end up losing, I'm gonna go ahead and place our big tower. This is our nuke tower. Um, this does a lot of damage to all the enemies on the screen as you'll see whenever the missile gets to the middle, we have a massive explosion. Let me go ahead and place some towers over here so I don't die whenever I'm in the middle of explaining all this. The last tower type that we have, and I'll wait till I get enough money to grab it, is our chrono towers, which slow down enemies that are inside of its bubble. So you can see I can place a chrono tower, 
and it's all bubbly and, you know, force field looking. And it will slow down enemies as they get within the Chronos field. Um, the Nuke Tower, you can only have one of every other tower. You can have as many as you'd like. Or as many that will fit on the, the game. So you can see with uh, this game, we do everything from, you know, loading 3D models to uh, particle effects. Um, there is basic gameplay artificial intelligence involved. Um, nothing too major in the AI field as far as the straight gameplay goes. That's all That all takes place in the genetic algorithms part, which I'll get to in a second. Um, these maps are dynamically loaded. We uh, have a, a level editor, which I'll get to toward the end, and um, to show you the entire process. And what happens is we save off the file, the XML file with the level editor, and then we can load it up into the game and play and all that kind of stuff. So we had eight weeks to go all the way from the game's the, the initial conception of the idea um, all the way to it being fully completed in eight weeks. Um, that was the length of our class. That's what we had to achieve. So what you're seeing took eight weeks to complete. We had five people. You can also see too that we'll have trees and rocks the game just won but we have trees and rocks this is where um, these are obstacles that are placed that you cannot place towers in these areas so they kind of add a sort of another element to the the level designing process so we we won the game um, you can see I still have 17 health left all the enemies have died this one right here probably just hadn't exploded right at the time it was gonna die um, and we can go back to the main menu we can look at the credits but I won't bore you with that we can go back Play again, select another level, etc.